Hey, how's it going? My name is John and welcome to Fall Row. Hit that intro. Alright, so we're picking up right where we left off with everybody's favorite goth boy, Galeb. Uh, let's see what our objectives are. We gotta go talk to Beryl in his apartment. I think I remember how to get to the apartments, but I'm not entirely sure. A message from Kai. Oh, my page is going off. Urgent issue. Bad timing. I'm going to have to choose. Help Kai. Why do I have to choose? Speak with Beryl. Can't just do both? Um. Well, if I'm getting a message on my pager, that's probably more important, I assume. So let's do that, I guess. I don't really remember who's who, so I don't think it really matters which one I pick, because I don't know what I'm doing. Is this even the right place? I feel like I went to the wrong one. Caleb, our secret agent is back already. The soldier is on furlough. Not for long, I'm afraid. The prince will undoubtedly have some new task for me. At least she trusts you. She hardly speaks to her primogen. Even Beryl is in the dark. Yeah, that's not much of a surprise, is it? It'll be good for him. Are you still not talking? You could say that. Any regrets? Bill Galeb's not much for talking to anybody. I'm planning to make up for it with Fang. Oh, so that's why you've become attached to that girl. I'm not attached to her. She's an asset for the Camarilla, and a necessary balance to temper Beryl's wicked game. Sure, you tell yourself Personally, that, guy. I find that giving a child so much power is dangerous. The problem is that you have to. Yeah, I all guess the you time. would know out of anybody, Otherwise, right? End up making a mess of things. Go with this one. But trying to influence them is pointless. You must be subtle about it. That's all. Really? Because that's working out well for you. Freedom so that she doesn't completely hate me. She kind of does completely exactly hate you, though. Make her do whatever I want. You're do like you fully really you'll incorrect. Time to embrace Fang. What do you mean? What is that mark on her neck? I never noticed she was covering a mark on her neck with that scarf. Who will be next? That's not something I'm willing to discuss with you. Suit yourself. No. Excuse me, I have to go. Of course. Is this even the right floor? Does it go to one or negative one? Negative one. Okay. I was wrong. I did go to the wrong floor. Let's go here then, I guess. Also, apologies if I don't talk too much in these next couple videos, but I'm having to record pretty late at night because it's just an incredibly bad heat wave going on right now. So forgive me if I'm not super active or talkative because it is pretty late right now. Great. This is the first time we've worked together. Servants and their loose lips. I want to report on his activities pronto. I don't like the sound of that at all. Oh. There you are. Follow me, please. We'll speak in private. You wanted to see me? What do you Happy want? Happy to see you, Galeb. We don't usually let anybody down here, but I can bend the rules for you. To what do I owe this honor? I need you. Some things come up. On the I assume attack, so, but what? Someone sent a message to an unauthorized recipient. Huh? Who? Do you know who it was? Not now, but I will soon enough. Otherwise, the prince. That's will not have very helpful, you know. Caleb, I need your help. I get the feeling that it's all connected. It's too huge to be a coincidence. Do you suspect anyone in particular? Jara Drory. 
Um, why? I don't know why. Um, seriously, why not? Evidence? Like, evidence? What you're telling me is extremely serious. I hope you have proof. If I did, do you think I'd be asking for your help? Well, then why but are you I even coming to me? Her, unless I had serious doubts. Think it through carefully. For starters, she's one of the few who knows how the system works. She'd be able to cover her tracks, wouldn't she? How do I know maybe, you're not involved somehow? But maybe she made a mistake. I don't know. Jara has most likely been destroyed by now. I don't think she's been destroyed necessarily, though. You're suggesting? Anyways, nothing concrete. Just a hunch, if you want to call it that. In my place, under the current circumstances. Because the last known location we have for her was during that massacre in that room. And, and I can. Uh, Nobody will bother you. I'm not we decided that Just take she could have been the Charles one who ripped the arm off that one soldier or whatever. But other than that, I don't think there's really any information that we have that would as it, allow us to assume that she's actually I'm about dead to erase a or ton taken. Of data. It's the code red Maybe he does have something on it. And since I don't know. Jara vanished, the prince wants her personal data to disappear along with her. That doesn't give us much time. You in? I don't know, because it also depends on whether or not he's even telling the truth. Uh... Let's just refuse. No. I don't need I'd to take not orders cast from him. On our head of security on the basis of vague hunches. But I said no, Caius. You won't talk to anyone about this at least, will you? We'll see. I just want to keep us safe. If we can come I across the evidence we'll or figure out if I... that person is involved, then we can handle it later. So let's go head back up and then talk to this dude in the apartments and uh, figure out what the hell we're doing next. It just seemed easier to just refuse that guy because I don't really know if that person's involved or not and if they aren't then causing all this trouble is going to be useless and I also feel like Galeb's not the type of person to, you know, take... <laughs> orders or requests from people he isn't working directly under. Where are you? There you go. Galen, by all means. Oh, it's you. I remember you. You're a dickhead, aren't you? You here? How extraordinarily Guess rare. that answers that. To what do I owe the honor? Enough, Beryl. Did you speak with Feng? Your name is Beryl, you can't... Keep an eye on the comings and goings I'm not of afraid of you in any way. Did you speak to her? So much fuss about nothing. Threaten him, I guess? I don't feel like he would work with threats either, but telling him that he knows her relationship to me feels also like I'm just telling him, like, by the way, I have a weakness. You probably shouldn't do that. Let's just not say anything. I ran into her recently, it's true, but we hardly said a word to one another. Let's confront him. Stop it right <clears throat> now. I know you saw Fang. Right here. I already told you not to speak to her again. Come again? Don't try to deny it. You spoke to her. Fine. She came here. I don't see what the problem is. What exactly is driving you? Unlike you, I don't try to control the lives of those around me. Feng still enjoys a certain degree of freedom, doesn't she? To choose whom she sees? We ran into each other by accident, and we didn't speak for long. She came into your office and you ran into each other by accident? That doesn't even slightly add up. What the fuck are you talking about? It's the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. Would this work? I feel like it might not. Uh, 
Uh, fuck. Which one do I go with? Go with this, I she guess. She is mine. She cannot decide for herself. I won't have her coming anywhere near you. You might want to rethink your. If I fuck this up, I might go back and redo it. I don't. I'm not sure yet. So badly, I would have refused to see her. I really don't see the harm in it. It's not your business to understand. I'd really like to, though. I just wanted to give her some advice, to help guide her through this brave, dangerous new world. When it comes to that. I don't think you're doing enough. If Literally mistaken, doing everything. You needn't worry. She's been introduced to everyone. I don't intend to leave her defenseless among the drooling predators skulking in the corners. And she might just surprise you. I'm sure she will. She's worth far more than your estimations. Is she worth more than me? Are you sure you want an answer to that? Oof. All right, all right. I know oh, so you can win by not using those abilities. But okay. I guess anyone at any age. For, I just assumed that the winds that change. wasn't going to be possible. Your concern for Fang is to your credit. It really is. Interesting. However, I can't help making comparisons with my own past experiences. You shouldn't. It was long ago, I admit. But I'm still your only child. You're jealous. I don't think that's true, is it? I'm not jealous. Although I do regret the unfortunate turn our relationship has taken. And who's at fault there, huh? Let's just see if this works, I guess. Oh, okay. I'm worried about Fang, Amazed that worked. You would worry too if you were in my shoes. I just want to make sure she doesn't go through the same thing I did. The crushing weight of disappointment. The distance. The disdain. If it's pity you're I'm not after, your fucking daddy, I don't know why it matters. Prove, you never really knew me at all. Don't try. Don't to need to be following me around and it begging for all this shit. Much. Just fucking She's humble. Chill out, bro. To make the world a better place. You think my feet leave no prints in this world? The tracks you leave lead only back to you, unlike hers. You defile everything you touch. You belong to the past, Beryl. You're finished. Fang is the future of the Camarilla. She's not like you, and she never will be. Hold on. Hold on, I gotta sneeze. Oh. Okay, never mind, I went away. Uh, so we don't uh, have any consumables like either that we can use, so let's just hope this goes our way, I guess. You've always wielded words with such deadly skill but there is one small detail it seems you have forgotten oh yeah you enlighten me be there for her much longer what is that a threat think about it you're the oldest person in this city now it gnaws at you like it does all the elders you can feel it inside you and it will grow and grow until you finally give in how long do you think it will be before you leave too is that really what you're concerned about Hell yeah, success. Okay, I don't think we can you lose feel now. the beckoning too. You're not much younger than I am. But you're far weaker. Hell yeah. I'll be able to resist as long as it takes to finish my work here. But will you? I... I don't know. That's the difference between you and I. <clears throat> I don't <clears throat> doubt. I will stay. If I understand you right, and I think I do, we're of the same mind. With a few minor differences. Is that so? 
We both want what's best for Fang. I'm not sure that's true. So then why? I think you just want what's worse for me. Let's just use the last of them. Let's go. Hell yeah, success. We did it. It's quite simple. Let's go. Either you do what I say, or I'll take more radical measures. There's no need for that. I'm sure we can find common ground. You don't come near Fang again, and I won't tear you limb from limb. Well, sounds like I, a good deal. I'd I take it if I was you. A little more... It's non-negotiable. I see. I'll have to settle for that. You'd better. I just wanted to make sure she knew what she was doing here. I didn't think you'd react like this. I guess this. you could say I am you your didn't daddy think now. <laughs> I'd find out. Don't turn this into a witch trial. If I've acted badly, it was with good intentions. But I've heard your message loud and clear. I'll bear it in mind. Just keep your distance, and everything will be fine. Yes, you've made yourself very I'm clear. like amazed that we actually managed to succeed. <laughs> One more thing. A little bird told me about your operations in South America. <clears throat> My dear oh, sire, get for someone I thought had no interest in business, you are remarkably well informed. It's well, kind of my job. Stay hidden from the court forever. Where's the harm in it? That's also Your very true. Actions have consequences for the Camarilla that you haven't considered. You could endanger the masquerade. Don't you think you should speak to the prince about it? <laughs> I don't see how my personal business concerns her. I literally she's just told you. What are you talking about? Out of this mess she's dragged us into. You hold her responsible for this? She's in charge, isn't she? She hosted the party. It's only natural to hold her accountable, isn't it? If the court no. hear what you just said. Ha! <laughs> Do you really think I'm the only one who thinks this? That's like being like, well, the guy who assassinated the president wasn't isn't to blame. Stage. The one who's really sure to blame is the bullet manufacturer. You're like, no, that's not how that works. Please what are you talking about? Excuse me if I don't see you out. You're, you're a dickhead and you're wrong about everything and have bad analogies. You suck. <sighs> I hope he understood this time. He won't get another warning. Hazel is probably ready to see me now. I won't make her wait. Alright, I guess it's time to go check out check in with the prince, see what's going on. I still don't have any consumables or anything I can use, so let's hope we don't have to use any abilities next. I've seen princes come and go. In the end, it always comes down to a struggle for power between the prince and their progen. Hazel is strong. Oh, I have to go to the she elevator, right? Much longer. Is that how I get to there? I don't remember. I think I have to go to the elevator to get to the prince. Yeah, there we go. I was also gonna say, how come everybody else has rooms and the prince just has an office and then I realize they're all fucking vampires, it's not like they need rooms. The prince is ready to see you now. Let's go! Great. What's up, bodysuit? How you feeling? You doing good? Galeb. My prince. Why do so many vampires dress so impractically? How may I be of service to you this time? One thing at a time. The situation has changed. The money is gone. Oh, the accounts great. have been emptied. What? That's impossible. Only Jason Moore could have transferred the money. The situation is dire. Moore would never have done it on his own. He would never have dared. I agree. It's much too bold a move. And with him. everything going on with him, I don't think most. he's the Someone one that we need to be concerned to with. Us. Someone who was extremely well prepared. That makes more sense. Someone inside the Camarilla, maybe? But I don't know. 
I spoke with Beryl. He's up to something. The problem with your child is that he's always up to something. That's How a good point. I, I didn't even need to bring that up. Best interest. We must keep an eye on him. You're not telling me everything, Caleb. I'm your prince. You know you can trust me. That's not how princes work, but okay. I don't understand him anymore. I forbade him from seeing Zhu Fang, but he disobeyed. It's all one big, twisted game for him. That's a strictly personal matter. Who knows what he's really hiding? Of course. Like all the others. It's, other, it's another good point. Anyone you can trust in this court, even in the middle of the worst crisis we've ever faced. I fucking can't do anything. Failure is a luxury we will soon be unable to afford. If you have nothing more to say, we can move on to the reason I sent for you. What did you think about Richard Dunham's file? Money that should be going to me seems to go missing whenever he touches it. Richard is far too important to me. I can't afford to upset him now. But if his research doesn't pay off soon, I won't hesitate to show him my disappointment. At this point, you might as well just kill everybody on your team. Did you read just get rid of everybody on the I wish I'd never on the board. It. Just get rid of all of them. Spies in it. She never mentioned she was monitoring the primogen's finances. Or this caught upon us. I don't what know what the fuck that word it? means. I've got no idea. It doesn't add up. It seemed important to her. But she's not here to shed any light on it. Thank God. I mean, with us being vampires and all, that <laughs> shedding light on anything is probably bad for I'm us. Listening. I've asked for your presence here because I have a new mission for you. Delson was able to track down the men who attacked us. It wasn't Good. easy, but it was impossible for them to disappear without leaving a trace. At least you used your psychotic them. eyes for something other hiding? than staring Long at me Island. like that. The abandoned I island. That island was abandoned. How? We did. We How? How was By vampires or just in general? They have abundant resources, and we're short on eyes. It doesn't matter. We'll find the people responsible for the situation later. Our most pressing issue is preventing them from striking us again. How? You're going to go there and kill their leader. Uh, why me? <sighs> Sending me there. That seems to be a rather bold choice. I don't see anyone better for the job. All right. Infiltration isn't really my specialty. You'll be dealing with Kine. You'll be a fox in a hen house. I'm not worried about you. And Delson knows how to get you in. Oh, that changes everything. <laughs> they evacuated the bodies from the site of the party. Which His is psychotic eyes looked sad for almost half a second. There's a small, nondescript warehouse at Jeffrey's Point. As far as we can tell, their transfers from Boston to Long Island are made by boat. To avoid drawing attention to themselves, They've chosen to employ only small craft. There are bodies packed in the warehouse waiting to be shipped over. Do you get the picture? You want me to disguise myself as a body to be evacuated? Exactly. That's doable enough. All you have to do is stop simulating your vital functions for a few hours. It's risky. It's risky, but it's now or never. We might never get another opportunity. We have to try. The last transfer is probably going to take place tonight. After that, there's no way of knowing when we'll get another chance. Alright, let's just continue on. That, once you're on the island, you'll be in uncharted territory. I want to get through this conversation. I gotta go to the bathroom so bad. Who is my target? Walter Stanford. He's the head of the Boston Task Force. He's part of what they call the Society of Leopold. Someone else will take his place. No need for you to worry about that for the time being. Your mission is to eliminate Stanford, and that's all. All right, before, before I continue, I got to go to the bathroom really bad, so just give me a second and I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back, so we're going to pick up here right where we left off. But real quick, I just noticed something. For a game that came out this recently, why does it take place in 2019? I don't... What do we know about this Most games Stanford? usually much. take place at least closer very careful. to the time frame it comes out, so that's just super strange. Fanatics with him. If he's here, it means that Rome has faith in him, and that can't be good for us. He's got to be taken out. I want to know who tattooed her back, because that's like the boldest, darkest black I've ever seen in a tattoo. What's the Vatican getting out of all this? Your guess is as good as mine. But it seems that the kind are trying to get a better understanding of us in order to hunt us more effectively. These priests have been our enemies for ages. They, they haven't, haven't thought about doing Putting that before? Putting them is crucial. We must keep our enemies from unifying their strength. I don't wish to be the bearer of Is there a plan tidings, B? But what if Not I since fail? Roe vs. Wade got turned over. Plan? Galeb, you won't fail. You're our only hope. <laughs> That's a fucked we up joke. We place all our trust in you to complete this essential mission. There's no room for error, Vizori. Aren't you worried someone will tip off the SI? There's still a traitor among us. Among the us? The traitors, my department. You need to strike quickly. And don't let anyone know of your plans. There's a, sus a sussy baka risk. among us. All right. I've heard enough. Very well. Then you should get going. We've already lost enough time. Very well, my prince. They all say very well a lot. Could have questioned Jason Moore's bodyguard in the court's interrogation room. Didn't know that was possible. Could have questioned Jason Moore's murderer in the court's interrogation room. Could have helped Caius let her discover the secrets of one of the members of the Boston Primogen. Oh, maybe I should have gone with that then. Uh, well... Could have gone worse, I guess. All right. So with that chat, uh, with that part done, I'm going to leave this video off here. So thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And I hope I see you in the next video later. I mean, I mean, we just trying to chill.